Today, I'm going to share with you how you can create eye-catching content and share it across multiple social media platforms. What's up, you guys? Thanks for tuning in with your boy Nino from Creatively Nino. I got a tutorial for you guys today on how you can create social media content to share across many social media platforms. And if you're struggling with how to create content on the fly for your website, this tutorial can help speed up that process. It's pretty cool and it's really not that challenging, but overall, I think you really are gonna like it. And if you do like it, hey, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss another Wix tutorial like this one here. So let's jump in and check this thing out. All right, so first, I just want to say like Wix has a lot of things to offer here guys and today I'm going to be doing a social media post video okay so what we want to do here is you want to go to your dashboard for your website and head on over to the marketing and SEO tools okay so once you come over here to this home page uh, go ahead and come down to this thing called social post we're going to check this thing out and see what Wix has to offer here so what I'm going to show you guys is that there are stunning templates that you guys can use and choose from. OK, and it's based on certain dates like the New Year's goals, you know, uh, sales, free shipping, all of these awesome templates here. And like I really enjoy these things and we can go ahead and just click edit template and we can get right into it. So as you can see, we're in the social media post editor. OK, so what we can do here is we can pick certain designs here, uh, which I really like because they actually keep everything in place and in order. I really enjoy this and it's really nice, cool feature. So you can pick a design. You can also add a background to this, whether you want it to be a color or you want it to be an image or a pattern. Wix gives you multiple options on how you can do that and let you innovate based on whatever you would like. Now, as you can see here, we have the full elements. OK, you can change your background based on just clicking on this element, which is an image or just the background. And you can go ahead and change that background and it will lead you right back to the background settings. OK, now, if you wanted to go ahead and click here and click edit, uh, this would then bring it into the photo studio. And I actually go into this photo studio in another tutorial. So definitely go check that out in the right hand corner as I speak right now. Right now, I'm just going to cancel out of this, but basically you can change your background and also you can edit the picture if that is one right here. Now, as you can see, we have different elements on this screen right here. We have text elements and also we have objects. So let's go ahead over here to text. As you can see, we have a range of fonts that we can use from here. OK, I could click this and it could be right there if I need it to or I can go ahead and delete it. So let's go ahead and change up some text here. So as you see, this says reach your goals. Now, I want to just go ahead and change the color of this font. So I just highlighted everything here and I'm going to make it a different color. Awesome. And also you can actually change the font to whatever fonts that you have available for you, okay? And then also you can create the size of this, which we're gonna just keep it at 49. And also we have the alignment here. We can always put it in justify or we can put it in a left or right or center alignment, okay? And then also we can duplicate this item or this element. OK, and then also we can move it forward, backwards from the front so we can change the placement of this object. OK, so that's everything that you guys need to know about tech. Here we can go over to our graphic elements, which I call objects, and we can add an image or a logo here uh, in my uploads. And this will actually come into the media manager. So as you can see here, I have my site files, my visitor uploads and all of that good stuff here. So as you can see here, uh, I actually go more into detail about the Wix Media Manager. So definitely check that out in the right hand corner as I speak right now. This is a very cool platform to organize your folders and your images and any other types of media files that you have here. And also we have some featured objects here. 
So you guys can go ahead and click on those as needed. Let's go ahead and do that. So as you can see, we can bring some of this stuff over here and we can go ahead and get another featured item. Uh, let's just put a lot of them on here just so we can spread them out and have variety. You can also put illustrations on here. So if you guys wanna get a little bit artsy with it, definitely go ahead and be my guest, okay? Actually, they have boxes and shapes here as well. Uh, really like the way that they have organized these designs and templates and frameworks so that then you have unlimited ways to design your social media posts. Once you're finished with doing all of this designs here, you can go ahead and click next. And once you have your Facebook or Instagram set up here, you guys can easily go ahead and click connect and give it a short caption. Or you can go to Instagram and you can put in your mobile number and you can send that over to your phone, okay? This is pretty neat. I think that if you can send this over to your phone, that makes a life a lot easier with your Instagram. But easily they can give you a download option here where you can just click download and your graphic will be downloaded. And if you guys wanna check out some more of your posts here, uh, let's go ahead and leave. If you guys wanna go ahead over to my posts, actually you can see more posts here that you have made and actually they have actually saved it for me. So I don't have to really worry if my designs do not get saved and you can even come over here to add a new graphic whether that means you start from scratch or you see all templates okay and if you see all templates it'll take you right back to the home page where you saw those all those templates here and these templates change from month to month so definitely check out what wix has to offer these are great templates and it's just endless opportunities to have on your website or on your social media platforms i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial definitely give it a shot if you have any questions drop them below thank you so much for watching you guys and if you like this video hit that like button and before you go make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every weekend also check out my website to find other tips and tricks about wix this helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you in the next video, guys. All right, ciao.